this weekend, one of my neighbors was moving. He rented one of those uh, vans. He he was doing the move himself. And since I'm going to move in about one year from now, I thought it would be a good idea to take a picture of the name of the company. I know that we can do this online search for companies like this online, but it was right there. Why not take the picture? Now, with the timeline system in mind, where do you think I store this picture in my Obsidian? First things first, this is a resource. This is information that may help me uh, do something. So it is. Uh, it has to be in a static container. But where? Where can I find this in the future when I'm moving one year from now? What I did was add it to my folder with all the information about the new home. And that folder is a subfolder of a couple folder. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's move a step back here. So I have uh, a family static container inside the family. You know that I have the family members, one folder for each family member, but I also have a couple folder for documents and information that are related to both of us, my wife and me. Okay, and inside that couple, I have, for example, our car, the current uh, uh, home, the next home, and all those are folders. So there is a very long structure of subfolders there, but that doesn't really matter because it makes sense. So it's easy to find. Okay, but since we're talking about this structure, uh, the new home subfolder doesn't have a lot of files because there's not a lot to put there. So the only thing I'm doing there for now is uh, remembering to always keep the files with uh, starting with the date, the, the format that I use, which is year uh, dash a month dash day, uh, four digits for the year, two digits for the month and two digits for the day. So that's what I did. I renamed that uh, picture, the file adding the date I took the picture. So one year from now, there will still not be a lot of files there and it will be easy to just uh, take a look at them and, and find that image if I need it. And if that happens, <laughs> maybe I'll record a new episode of the podcast. And again, since we are here uh, talking about this structure, I think it, it is nice to also talk about the future. For example, uh, recently we, we sold uh, uh, our car and bought a new one. So like I said, the car had a folder inside this couple folder. And the way I, 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 I title the folder for the cars is uh, the license plate. So that's the, the folder. So everything related to, to a car goes to that license plate. So if I need to find information about that in the future, I know where it is about that car. And just in case, I also add the license plate as a tag so I can filter information if I need to. Then uh, after moving, after uh, selling that car, what I did was move that old car, the, the folder with the old license plate to the timeline. Inside the timeline, there is a similar structure. Uh, we have, I have family, and then uh, the family members, one of the uh, quotes here, I quotes here, one of the members is couple. Inside couple, there, there is some folders there because I have already moved things there. And now I'm moving uh, the old car to that subfolder. So it's now history. It's a time, it's in the timeline. If for some reason I need something about that car in the future, I can go to the timeline and check that information. And now, uh, the new car has a folder inside the static container because that's current information. That's it for this one. As a reminder, this episode and all other episodes of the podcast and my YouTube videos in general are all available without ads for my Patreon supporters. If you like what I do here and want to support my work, take a look at patreon.com slash Thank you so much for your time. See you soon.